After seeing the amount of attention garnered by the Indian protesters in PEI, a small army of temporary foreign workers are preparing to do the same in Ontario. And if the numbers they state they have are to be believed, you can be sure what's going to go down in Ontario will be quite substantial. The movement is being spearheaded by the Najawan Support Network, which is based in Brampton. The same battle to keep temporary workers in the country permanently will begin on June 4th. The thing about the NSN is it actually has noble intentions at its root. The organization was created to stop the exploitation of temporary foreign workers, which is more than fair. But here's the kicker. Pretty much all of the businesses they go after for unpaid wages or illegally low wages happen to be owned by members of their own community. After seeing how their colleagues fared in PEI, the NSN now believes it can succeed where they fell short. And given who's bankrolling them, I can't say they're wrong. This month, one of the NSN's members, Lovepreet Singh, was brought in to speak at a convention for one of the most powerful unions in the country. The people who are backing the NSN's movement is QP. QP is the bane of every level of government in the country. They're one of the very reasons the cost of living in Canada continues going up, and they've been doing that long before the pandemic reared its ugly head. So why would they have an interest in backing this coming movement? Have you ever seen the kind of money that unions make? The NSN is claiming that up to 70,000 workers will be facing deportation. Now imagine if QP could add those temporary workers to their ranks. We're talking about a fat payday for QP. Once again, It's the Canadian taxpayer who's on the hook for someone else's agenda. The Liberals want more TFWs to increase their voter base. You're the one paying for that. Corrupt businesses want more TFWs to cheap out on labor. In doing so, they're screwing Canadian taxpayers twice in the process. And now, QP wants a piece of the exploitation pie as well, and you're the one who's going to pay for it. So what are your ideas or solutions to this problem? Be sure to leave those ideas in the comments. Thank you very much for watching, and if you haven't done so already, please do consider subscribing.